Hi guys, it's Simone here from Sparkly Fairy Face Painting. I am going to teach you today uh, the two balloon flower. It's very easy once you get the knack of it. I have shared this video before, but I made some mistakes while I was doing it. So I'm going to have my head switched on properly this time and make a new one. So I always let the kids choose. You don't have to have a green stem and a coloured top. You can really just have whatever they choose. They always look pretty. But just for today, I'm going to do a green stem just to remind me to do the stem first. So if you do the stem first, you can then hand it to the kid. The child can hold it and then you can make the flower to put on top of the stem. So we're going to start by pumping up our stem. You can pump it all the way up. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it doesn't need a nipple at the end. Okay, so I've pumped it up. It's got a little bit. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to burp a bit out just so that I've got a bit of extra to tie without ripping my fingers to pieces. Now, what you do is you fold this long balloon into three pieces. Equal. Okay, so I'm going to, once you've done it a few times, it comes as second nature. So it's like an S. Just hold it the middle and squeeze and twist. It's just one twist so that you have that. So essentially that's your flower stalk and leaves. So I usually bend these like this to make them look like they're going up a bit. Just gives it a bit, bit extra, you know. Alright, so then you give that to the child to hold or you can pop it under your arm. So, either way. Now, I'm going to make a red top. So, when we blow up our top, we do leave a bit because we want to tie it into a circle. So, tie as much as you are comfortable with. I mean, leave as much as you're comfortable with. So, I'm leaving around about that much. So, it's easy to tie. Burp a bit out. So that it's easier to tie. Okay, so now you tie the two ends together. Easy peasy. Now, the main thing where people go wrong with this is that they squish it together the wrong way. So you have to make sure the tied bit is one of the bits that you're squishing together. So squish that together and twist it. Now for other things, these can also be wings for your dragons and dragonflies. So you've made a fig figure eight and the tie is in that middle bit, okay? That's the important part. That's where the tie always has to stay. If the tie is on the end, it's not going to work. Okay, so now we fold our figure of eight over. There's our tie. You can give this a bit of a squeeze if you want. And you push that in. I've got big long fingers so it's very easy for me to just squeeze my fingers around but basically this is what you want to do you want to get your fingers around so it's in this X shape and give it one twist it's only one twist around you don't have to do two or three or any more twists it's just one mine is a little bit uneven I'm not going to care about it that much so the tie is in the middle so this is our top of our flower now so next thing we're going to do, you put the top of your flower under your arm, get your green stem and twist off a nobble at the top. Now this is the part that some people struggle with. Actually, if you do leave a bit of a nipple, you can push it to the top and do your nobble and you'll end up with a bit more stretch in here. So that could make it easier for a lot of people. This is just how I learnt, so this is just how I do it. Okay, so the next part, I usually lay this on my knee, like I put my leg out at an angle and I lay it on my leg to do this, but you won't be able to sit in the video, so I'm going to try to do it some other way. So, you want to lay your nobble across the top. See how there's that? Your nobble wants to stick out the top of there, and we're going to stretch it down in between, and so then your stem comes out the bottom. So we're going to lay it on the top, hold it on there. And then we're just putting it, can you see this, down to the camera. 
down the side. You can sort of manipulate the petals around. So it's not like you really have to stretch it, but you just lay it through that crease and sort of stretch it a bit, pull it in there and manipulate your petals. So see how it's sort of there? Then you just want to arrange your petals so that you can't see it anymore. And then next thing you know, you've got a beautiful big flower and it was really easy. So there's your knobble at the top. It's going down through here. Oh, down through there. And there it is. It's so much fun.